academics and scientists in Italy are trying to solve the mystery of how one of Italy's greatest artists died 400 years ago. Michelangelo Merisi, known as Caravaggio, died a mysterious death at age 39 while fleeing from the law. He led a turbulent life of great artistic successes combined with love affairs with prostitutes, street fights, murder, and dramatic escapes. A team led by Italy's National Committee for Caravaggio has brought together historians and scientists in an effort to find Caravaggio's bones, analyze the DNA, and discover how he died. Speleologist Antonio Moretti is sorting through a huge pile of skeletons in a crypt near the port town where Caravaggio died. I'm doing the dirty work, that of the speleologist who goes down and chooses among all these bones. The timing for this project could not be better. 400 years after Caravaggio's death, there has been a huge surge in his popularity. Caravaggio's powerful paintings showing violence, tragedy and desperation seem a direct reflection of his life. The project director is Silvano Vincetti, a passionate history detective. He explains the beginning of the end for Caravaggio was a tennis match in a Roman street that went wrong. That game, for historic reasons that are not very clear, ended up in a fight. Caravaggio killed Ranuccio Tommasoni. From that moment, his life changed. He escaped Rome, the Pope sentenced him to death for murder, and even his art changed. The play of light that dominated his paintings became more limited. The darkness, uh, the night expands in his painting. In Caravaggio's David with the head of Goliath, painted during the last year of his life, the anguished, bleeding head of Goliath is often described as a self-portrait of the artist as he imagined himself decapitated. Caravaggio escaped Rome to Malta, where his recklessness got him into trouble again. So he fled Malta and began a voyage up the Italian coast. Most art historians agree that Caravaggio collapsed on this Tuscan beach and died two days later. But what they don't know is if it was syphilis, lead poisoning, or possibly malaria. Investigators involved in this project are hoping to discover the answers to those questions. The bones from the crypt in Porto Ercole are being transferred to laboratories. A team of scientists has already identified nine male skeletons that match Caravaggio's age, sex, and year of death. But they still have to match the DNA with that of his alleged descendants. Trisha Thomas, Associated Press, Puerto Ercole.